plastic free vegan? Is that too extreme? It's Plastic Free July, so I thought I'd find out some of the best ways to reduce single use plastics as a vegan in the UK. Opt for plastic free veg. Markets and fruit and veg shops tend to use the least plastic packaging, while more and more supermarkets are providing plastic free fruit and veg options, so choose those over packaged versions. My personal tip is to use Scan as You Shop if it's available and use a dedicated bag for all the fruit and veg, and then once you get home, just put it straight into the veg drawer in the fridge. Veg boxes. If you struggle to get to markets where fruit and veg isn't overpackaged, a veg box delivery service might be your best bet. Search online for veg box schemes in your area. This will reduce food miles and is often cheaper than national veg box schemes. Refill shops. These are popping up more and more in towns across the UK. I'm lucky enough to have one nearby, but it's definitely worth seeking one out further afield. If the idea seems daunting, don't be scared to go in and say you're new to this. You'll get lots of friendly help. Usually, you just go in, weigh your jars or containers before filling them up with whatever you choose, and they're weighed afterwards to get the price. I can get all my pasta, rice, cereals, nuts, seeds, herbs, spices, healthy snacks and even crisps and vegan sweets. It's amazing. Eating at home. The Veganuary website has loads of recipes which use whole food ingredients. Try and plan meals so that you're never stuck. This advice is probably more for me than you. I have a two year old son and he makes cooking hard. So I definitely need to plan our meals more and cook in batches so I'm prepared for the times he demands a meal immediately. Use reusable containers for leftovers. If you have some takeaway tubs or lunch boxes, these are much better than cling film or plastic wrap. Eating out. If you're craving a burger and chips or fries, the plant-based options at fast food places often use cardboard packaging. But the drinks cups use plastic-based materials and are harder to recycle, so I'll be taking my water bottle. Drinks. Try to remember your refillable water bottle when you leave the house. I've never been refused a water refill at places out and about, and refill points are popping up at train stations, shops, and even on some street corners. I've seen them. Get the refill app on your phone to find refill points near you. If you don't have a water bottle with you, you could choose a drink in a glass bottle or aluminium can rather than a single use plastic bottle. Milk. Dairy free milks come in Tetra Pak containers, which can be hard to recycle. On the plus side, many milk delivery services now offer oat milk in glass bottles, which can be returned and used again and again. Finally, don't forget your reusable shopping bags. Keeping some by the front door helps me remember, and for those of us who drive, keep some in the boot just in case. I personally refuse any plastic bags now, so for me, remembering bags means I'm not awkwardly carrying armloads of shopping out of the supermarket, like a weirdo. If you're thinking, this sounds like a pain, what's the point? Okay, I get it. So people have their own reasons, but here are some of the reasons I'm personally trying to cut out single-use plastics. 99% of plastics are made from chemicals sourced from fossil fuels. We produce 430 million tonnes of plastic a year. That's more than the combined mass of all 8 billion humans alive today. And right now, recycling plastic waste isn't solving the problem. It's been estimated that 60% of the UK's plastic waste is exported to developing countries for recycling, with little capacity and infrastructure to manage it. This impacts on communities, economies and ecosystems around the world. You've probably heard that microplastics are a massive problem, and I'd personally like to avoid eating them. Banana interlude! I'd just like to point out that bananas, and many fruits, but especially bananas, are naturally packaged by their skins. It blows my mind that places sell bananas in plastic bags. But anyway, let's move on to the foods I've been struggling with. So tofu, I have no idea of how to find plastic free tofu, and I don't really have time to make it. Salad, I can find whole lettuces, but other leafy greens seem to often come in plastic bags. If you have any ideas, please tell us in the comments. The good news is that at least in the UK, plastic bags and plastic film now have recycling points. You can usually find them in supermarkets and hopefully they'll be recycled. Of course, by eating more plant-based foods, we're all helping reduce our impact on the environment. So please don't feel overwhelmed by any of this. It's best to take small steps. So, if you're just starting out reducing plastics in your life, maybe switch to a bamboo toothbrush or get a reusable coffee cup. 
I've been finding it really exciting to discover plastic free options and I've been inspired to cook more and more and make the kitchen a fun place for the family. I really hope you found this video helpful. Please let us know how your plant based journey is going and tell us your plastic free vegan tips in the comments. If you have any ideas for what videos you'd like to see, please let us know and we'll do our best to get them made. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to support our work. See you later!